for the serious gamer. Hey, it's Spider Bite at NextGenTactics.com. It's God of War 3 campaign walkthrough, Chapter 41, Escaping the Labyrinth and a Return to Hades. Now, when we left, left off in uh, Chapter 40, we're in the middle of this epic battle with minotaurs, sirens, these guys with the blades that can dive underground, under the floor. So, we're just finishing off this uh, second minotaur. I think we finished off the first one in the last video. And uh, he gives us some health. That's the nice thing about the minotaurs when you rip their heads off or whatever and uh, kill them or snap their necks, then they uh, they give you health. And if you remember, the sirens give you magic if you can uh, break their backs by uh, doing the finishing move the second time that you stun them. And if you notice that one siren is glowing blue, that means you have to use the head of Helios and blind her in order for her to turn not blue so that you can grab her and kill her. So, um, right now, and this is the bonus right here, is because we only need one Phoenix Feather in order to upgrade our magic, we get to upgrade our magic, and when you upgrade, look at this. Oh, yeah! The meter fills right back up from near zero. So now we have full magic again, and we can use that in this battle. Sweetness, and we are going to use it, I believe... Unless we only have the two sirens left. I don't know. I think we have more dudes coming. Possibly. Um, but actually... Oh yeah, we got more dudes coming. Okay, so we are definitely going to need the magic. And there's just so many guys that come at you here. I mean, it's just insane. And like I said, this is... Um, one of the three... Or the first of third... Of the final battles. And... These battles are badass. Uh, they're pretty difficult. And this one, it took me a little bit to get through, but even this one's not even that bad compared to the next one coming up. <laughs> so just wait and see. So you want to use your uh, Nemean Cestus to bust the shields? Because they're made of onyx and no other weapon will uh, do the job. Okay? And then once the shields are gone, I mean, these guys are fairly easy to deal with. Uh, we still... Oh, man, we got another Minotaur. Are you kidding me? These guys keep coming and coming. And the thing is, there are no checkpoints in here. Okay? Uh, if you think you're gonna get a checkpoint partway through, think again. There are no checkpoints. You start back from square one. So, uh, yeah, we're just getting these sirens. And, again, another useful move is the L1 circle button. Because it basically pulls you, like, when you're grappling, uh, another enemy, it, uh, it basically pulls you out of the attack range of any other enemy. So that's, you know, it, it has... Two uses. Again, one to do damage and one to get you the hell out of the way of the other guys that are attacking you. And see what I mean? You don't really have to worry about Pandora. I mean, she dodges all the attacks. Thank God, because uh, that would be... Uh, oh, let's grab the siren. That'd be pretty hard if you had to protect Pandora as well and have to worry about her ass. But uh, thankfully we don't. And uh, let's finish off the Minotaur. Nice. Sweet. So we got some more health. A little bit more. We're uh, almost all out of magic, but it uh, looks like we only have the two blade dudes and the siren. And again, to defeat these guys... And, oh, we can get some more magic here, actually. Excellent. Okay. Magic bonus. I mean, not much, but enough for another magic attack if we need to, if we need to use it. But uh, these guys, again, if you use the L1 circle attack, I mean, and you have to, you can't really use any other attack to pull them out of the ground. Um, and it's pretty effective on these guys. So I think these are the last... I think I think it's just these two that are left. That's bonus. That's pretty bonus. So let's try and fin finish them off here. Come on. Die already. Die! And um, the nice evade... There's a nice uh, mid-air evade, uh, evade with... Um, I don't know if, if you're faster in mid-air because of the boots. But uh, anyways, you can evade pretty quick when you're, when you're double jumping in the air. All right, so it uh, looks like there's a note scroll on the ground, but we're going to get the red orb XP goodness first of all. And then uh, just make sure we didn't miss anything else like we did on the last uh, video or one before that, whatever. Try not to miss too much, but... You know, we're not uh, we're not doing all the collectibles here, so there's a note from uh, Daedalus. Uh, yeah, yeah, good thing you made it this far. And make sure you make Zeus pay because he double-crossed me. And just like everybody else. 
No problem there, Daedalus. We will make Zeus pay. All right. So what do we got to do here? Do we got to lift up? Uh... No, we don't have to lift her up. Because there is a switch here. So you just pull, uh, push the switch. And it'll open up the little trap door for Pandora. Good thing we got Pandora with us. I mean, there's no way in hell we would have made another labyrinth without Pandora. Because we're not going to fit in there. I mean, look at look at me. Look at Kratos. I mean, he's too big. He'd never fit in there. Okay, so it looks like we had to jump up. There's a little glowy thing here. Hit R1. Or actually, you don't even hit R1. It's just a pressure plate. So uh, jump on top of it. And up, up, and away we go. Hey, Daedalus. How you doing, buddy? You cover up a little bit? Looks like you got a lot of blood on you. What happened? I don't know. Tortured, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, I wonder how long he was chained there for. It's just silliness. Okay, now what? Pandora, what do we do? We're on top of the uh, labyrinth. Where are you going? Where are you running to? Come back. Oh, there's a save point. We're going to need that. <laughs> save often. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. Okay, so it looks like uh, it's pretty epic on top of the labyrinth, but uh, we got to go see Pandora. I don't think there's anything up here. We do like a quick cursory check here, but I don't think there's anything up here to collect. If I'm mistaken, I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments, right? Right. All right. Okay, so uh, we're going to go over probably... Actually, we're going to go see Pandora first, I think. Oh, no, we're going to do save first. Haha. <laughs> there we go. Quick save, and let's go see what Pandora has to say. Pandora, what's up? The chain, Kratos. My father once told me it maintains the balance of power within Olympus. Okay, yeah, that's what I've heard as well. That, you know, one side of the chain you break, it changes the balance. All right. What's Kratos thinking break here? Break the chain to raise the labyrinth. And you know what? Wait here. That was the issue before, right? Because... Uh, the three judges wouldn't let us, uh, raise the chain. So, I guess we're going to take a trip back down to Hades. And this, uh, my friends, is a pain in the ass, man. It took me a while to get through this. Because there's a lot here, and you got to, uh, you got to avoid that shit. I mean, it's craziness. And when you go past these, uh, fiery rocks, just stick to the bottom. Okay, stick to the bottom, and then what we're going to do is we're going to move a little left, okay? And then we're just going to use the left analog to move slowly through here. We don't need the right analog to do the jerky kind of move. And again, you can stay sticking to the bottom here um, until you get to uh, just past this rock here. You want to move up and get close to the chain. Then you're going to have to move up to above it. Okay, now here you want to get close to the chain, bottom right of the chain, and just stay there. Okay. Otherwise, you're gonna get you're gonna die. I died so many times trying to do this. Bottom of the chain and just stay there. Nothing will touch you. Now, once you clear this part, get to the top of the chain and slightly left. You're still gonna have to move a little bit, but the top of the chain, we almost get we get hit a couple times anyways. But the top of the chain here is the best place to be through that little sequence. This one, use the left analog sti stick for small adjust adjustments. Okay. You don't need to use the right. Here you will need to use the right because you need to avoid this stuff. And away we go. I mean, it looked pretty smooth. Trust me, I spent a lot of time getting through that damn thing. And it was a pain in the ass. So anyways, we're going back down to Hades. That's the end of this video. We got another epic battle coming up. It's a long ass battle. And it took me forever to get past it. So I look forward to that in chapter 42 in Hades. And for some reason, I mean, when we were in Hades the last time, why didn't we just fly up the chain to escape Hades and we we could have flew up directly up the chain right to the flame of Olympus I mean what was Kratos thinking I don't know maybe he wasn't thinking maybe he didn't know but anyways now we know we can just travel along the chain from the flame all the way down to Hades I mean it's craziness anyways that's it for chapter 41 like I said stay tuned for 42 it's coming soon make sure you visit nextgentactics.com for all your strategic and, uh, you know, goodness, guides, walkthroughs, you name it, we got it. For Spiderbite, <laughs> for Spiderbite, for Next Gen Tactics, I'm Spiderbite, and I'm out. <laughs>